And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the New York Mets and the San Diego Padres. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go. And today's starter, Matt Waldron. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. All right, ready to get underway. Here's Francisco Lindor. That yeah. one's in there. Now one and two. Here's a batter who, for whatever reasons, plays better on the road, and that should help him here today. The one two. Bows it back with two strikes. And a pitch in the air out towards left center. Merrill makes the grab and there's one down. Here's a Mets lineup now. The home run a big part of the equation when it comes to this offense singing. They're one of the better clubs in the league in terms of putting runs up via the homer. Yeah, and that makes them even more dangerous because they're going to get their hits, but they're also going to get those home runs and have runners on base, which is multiple runs out of one swing. So, yeah, you really have to try to manage a team like this and keep them contained. You can't give up extra outs, whether that be via an error or a walk. One down, base is empty. And a good oh. eye there. Three two now. Down and full. And the right hander deals. That's a good nope, at bat right there. Forward. He was Runner down early base. in that plate appearance. Works the walk. Got a great back and forth that and that at bat. He had to play off some good. really close pitches and somehow Boogie he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Here is JD Martinez. Rocketed out towards right center. And there's a hit to third. And it throws off line, safe at third. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to follow. So many positives that led to that knock. Second and third, one gone. Brandon Nimmo up now for the Mets. This one in the air. Makes the grab. That's out number two. No, that's a frustrating at bat right there. Big opportunity and just missed it. I know he wanted to do some damage. Next guy I'll have to pick him up. Here's Pete Alonso. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Two outs, two in scoring position, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Yeah. Big swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Two outs. Out to short. The rise. Fires across the diamond. And that takes care of Alonzo. Third out, and that ends the frame. Two left for the Mets. And now the Padres get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. You're dialed into the show. Back here at Petco Park. And on the hill in this one, Jose Buto. Singing, he's kind of a road warrior, yeah? I definitely say so. You know, some guys shrink a little bit on the road. They're so used to just 
or having the comforts of being at home and having the fans behind them. But this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in some hostile environment. So when you have a player like this on your team that goes out there and competes, you definitely like your chances away from your home ballpark. In the air, left side. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. The throw into second, and he's out trying for two. Now batting jerks and pro far. High chopper to third. Pro far is out. As we take a look at the Padres lineup. And, Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton, and even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with the runners on base. So they need a player or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest... Got him looking. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. We'll move to the second now at Petco Park. No score. New inning getting started and stepping in for New York, Starling Marte. Marte. The wind of the pitch. Ground ball left side. Machado throws the first in time. Marte retired. Batting seven. The second baseman. Jose. Here's the veteran second baseman. One down, base is empty. The other way. Oh, what a stop from his knees. The throw on a target. He got him. Nice play. But he looks so comfortable making that play. Dives, comes up with it, and then from one knee, like he's just playing catch with his kid. Nice throw across the diamond at first. And next for the Mets, Luis Torrens. And one and two. One and two. And the righty deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. Two out spaces empty. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the bottom of inning number two. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Bottom of the second. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Padres, Manny Machado. Manny. You know, who Petco Park seems to be transforming into Machado's castle. I mean, nobody's hit more home runs in this ballpark. And Machado passed Adrian Gonzalez for the top spot on the list in 2023. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. That is good. And here good. comes Sander Bogarts. Kicks and fires. That's a strike across the top of the zone. One out, base is empty. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there's two away. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Next for the Padres, Jackson Merrill. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Bader sizing it up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. Nothing doing here this half. We play two full. No score. And we're back. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. Here's the veteran outfielder, Harrison Bader. Bader. 
going to count yeah. one and two. One two. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. Merrill brings it in with a nice running grab. Now that the good one. Francisco. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. Well, he's been having a great year this year and hitting home runs at a good clip. And the matchup is very favorable. And a pop up right side foul territory. Cronenworth makes the catch. Two down. Got the pitch that he wanted just a little bit now quick. Back Front back. shoulder no open. Crazy. Backside no collapsed hard. a little bit, and the launch Viento. angle not where he needed it to be. And now it's Mark Vientos. Right hander kicks deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Way under it. Brings it in. And that is that. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Back here in San Diego. And now here's the veteran DH, David Peralta. Peralta. Here's a 1 1. That's in there. Inside almost got him. Two and two. The pitch. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Stepping in for San Diego, Kyle Higashioka. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Not a big fastball on the mound by today's standards. Just low 90s. But when you can pitch backwards like that and sometimes save the fastball for later in the count, it just sort of explodes on hitters and gets right by it. That was the first fastball they bat, and clearly the timing just wasn't there for it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Three up, three down, inning over. Nothing doing there for the Friars, and we're still knotted at zero. Start of the fourth, and the batter now, J.D. Martinez. J.D. Martinez. The wind of the pitch. Swung on, belted. And that one hops the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Off the oh. mark there. Two and one. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. Top half of inning number four. Next offer in there for a strike. And that's strike two. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Cronenworth settles underneath it, makes the catch for the out. So now the Padres with a new arm on the mound, Martin Perez. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work to have him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. And now it's the, the polar bear, bear, Pete Alonso. Alonso.
That one the other way. Pulls it down and there are two away. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know he didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Starling Marte up to here. Man at second. That's ah! Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Luis Arias. Here's a 1 1. Right yeah. through there for a strike. 1 2. Next no, pitch is outside. outside. Swings and misses, struck him out. Right the start to this game on the mound, looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already, so this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. One down, base is empty. That one lifted to left. Nimmo has it sized up. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. The first baseman, number nine. Now here's Jake Cronenberg. Two down, nobody on. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Next pitch oh. is outside. Two Late right. on that fastball. Instead of letting the hitter get his two arms ball, extended, right. tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. That's down, down and in. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Cronenworth will take his base. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Two outs. Just missed. Two and one. And there's Three, one. Ball. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. And he grounds one to the right side. Gets it to first. Hey. Machado is out. Inning over. One left for San Diego, and we are still scoreless. And we're back. Now, number 11. The pitch. Good eye that right there. The well, these Mets looking to string together better at bats when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations. The count two and one. Ball. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Now the throw to first on the run. Yep. One away here in the fifth. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. And you got to give some credit to the other side as well. They've been able to get out of a few tough jams, but frustration is mounting for this offense, no doubt. Slow roller to third. Machado. Whips it across, oh. and the first two set down to the top the of the fifth. Harrison. And now Bader up to the plate. 
All tied up. And we're in the top of the fifth. In the air to left center. Can't get there. And now maybe extra bases. Bader into second. And he's got a double. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Now let's see if they can put up the first run of the game. Francisco Lindor to the plate now. Fans love him, but he's pretty popular with the players, too. He certainly is, Boog. A player survey on MLB.com listed him as one of the friendliest infielders to chat with during a game. I'm sure he appreciates the recognition from his peers. Man on second, two down. Backs and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Back here at Petco Park. Right here, Sandra Bogarts now. The second baseman. Sandra Bogarts. Next offering is in for a strike. Just oh, missed. That one called just inside, I think, and on the mound. He's trying to get a little bit of an explanation. Doesn't seem to be too bothered by it, though, but he clearly thought it clipped the corner. 2-2 two -two down. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And a pitch. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. Full count. Got him. And one gone. Digging in. Jackson Merrill. Number three. Jackson Merrill. One down, base is empty. Swings and misses. That is strike two. I think he was a little excited there. Saw the fastball, but needed a step ladder to get to that one. He's going to have to tighten it back up. He wants to have a good oh. at bat. And another ball. Base is empty, one away. Last half of inning number five. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. That one misses, and the count's full. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. Bounce to the right. Tosses the first, and that quickly, two away. Now, the deputy hitter, David Peralta at the plate. Two down, nobody on. Fouls one off. Two and two. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. Left-hand batter waits. That's the ball. Full count. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So all down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Peralta off of first with two away. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Two outs. Missed with a changeup. And that's ball three. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Sean Manaya, the left hander, up and throwing. Young, also throwing.
Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. So they've been held scoreless through five. And we still have no score. Top six and stepping in for New York, Mark Vientos. In there. And so now one and two. Kicks and deals. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The pitch. That one That's misses, and it's two and two. Pulls <laughs> down, swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string of the changeup. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Here's J.D. Martinez. Swings and chases a low one though. One and two. One down, base is empty. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes, two out. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him, man. No, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact, but that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. Brandon Nimmo getting ready to hit. Bounced out to short. Arise. And the Mets go one, two, three. Three up, three down for him there. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. No score. Well, we go bottom six. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Tyler Wade. Tyler Wade. And a pitch. That one oh. missed. You know, these Padres showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They haven't produced a run yet, but the pitch count for the starter is starting to climb, so they're hoping that starts to pay off soon. One up, one down. And I think they're in a good spot thanks to their pitching, but no one would be shocked if this offense strings something together to take Short the lead. Top. So the lineup flips over. There's the shortstop at the play. Luis arrives. And here comes. And another ball. I got to call NLDS game four here in 2022 at Petco Park where the Padres knocked out their rivals, the L.A. Dodgers. The place was just nuts the entire game. Terrific fan support. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Here's the switch hitting left fielder Jerks in pro form. And a 1 1. And a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. And right back to the mound. Gathers and throws to first. Pro far is out. Inning over. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. And we still have no score.
Number 25 on the pitch here. Number 25. And now the first baseman, Pete Alonso. He's a big, strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Wade settles underneath it. And there's one down. The right fielder number six, Starling. Here's Starling Marte. Slice to right. And a superb diving catch. Just a great job of concentration there as he leaves the ground to go airborne to make a diving catch. That's a tough play, but he got the job done. Here's the second baseman. And another ball. ball. Three one is on the way. This one smacked out to left center. Merrill brings it in for the third out. So they make short work of them there. Seventh inning stretch time. And we still have no score. Back here in San Diego, ready to go for the last half of the inning. So digging in now for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth. And a pitch. And a 2-1 hammered but foul. Hitting is all about anticipation, and right now, this lineup is struggling with it. Their swings are mistimed, and it's produced a few ugly cuts here and there. Got him swinging. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. It's almost like he's telling the guys in the bullpen, stand out. I got this. Manny Machado. Here's Manny Machado now. That one fouled off. All tied up here, the bottom of the seventh. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Oh, really expanded the zone right there with that fastball off the outside corner of the plate. Got him to chase it. That's a tough one to lay off of because it starts close to you and just continues to run away from you in that batter's box. So it's a really nice pitch with two strikes. It's Xander Bogarts now. And that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. In with a double, and the go-ahead runs at second with two out. He was all over that one. They got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing, and the barrel was so on playing with the ball. Easy drive into the gap for that bubble. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the bucket. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Jose Buto gives way, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. Sean Manaya taking over on the mound. And one thing on him. He's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep. Jackson Merrill, the next up for the Padres. Man at second. And that one fouled off. The pitch. And another ball. David Peralta in the San Diego on deck circle. Two down. Go ahead, run in scoring position. A 
On the ground, out to short. Goes to third, in there. And now they've got runners at the corners with two outs. Well, I can understand the defense right there trying to cut off that lead runner at third, but a good jump and an excellent finish for the base runner to get in there safely. So digging in, David Peralta. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Got a drive, that's a base hit. In the score from third. And they take the lead in the seventh. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. First and second, two outs. Kyle Higashioka will hit next. And he deals. And oh. another ball. Could be some action here on this next two pitch. Couple runners right. on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Merrill at second. Peralta at first. Two out of the inning. That one fouled off. Two and two. And that's in the dirt. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Tyler Wade on deck for the Padres. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a 1-0 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Jeremiah Estrada. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity now, now to come in and protect run. the tight lead Another late in the ball game. Game. Some of them are just yeah, wired yeah. different, so we'll see what he's got here. Well, one run game. Here's the catcher, Luis Torrens. Torrens. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Movement in the bullpen. Robert Suarez, the closer of the staff, is throwing. Scott, a left-hander, also throwing. Looking to get the tying run on base. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just trying to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. Here's the center fielder, Harrison Bader. Smoked on the ground a second. Bogarts with the throw to first. And Bader is set down. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. A nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Back to the top of the Mets order. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Francisco Lindor. At the belt and fires. Swings through that one. I guess you throw it down where you can get away with locations like that right down the middle. But I still think it's a dangerous pitch. Don't want to do it again. Righty delivers. The shortstop takes the ball. Trying to hold a one-run lead. And we're at the top of the eighth. They tried oh, to get God. him to chase on a slider down and away. Mark Vientos in the on-deck circle. And the tying oh, run Take is on base. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. And that one in the air center field. He's got it, and that's the third out. Mets strand one. 
They're down 1 0. And welcome back to the ballpark. The ballpark. Bottom of the inning. Now batting the Tyler Wade. Wade. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, to try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. One and two now. Left field. Nimmo sizing this one up. Makes the grab one down. The batter number four. So the San Diego batting order Luis. turns over. Luis Arise oh, stands yeah. in. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Base is empty one away. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Lifted in the air right field. Marte makes the grab for the second out. The left field, number 10. Two outs, base is empty. Jerickson Profar digs in now. The lefty fires. Liner, base hit. And it gets by him. Around first and hustling for second. And he'll pull into second with two gone. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. Left hand hitter waits. Ripped on the ground a second. Play made. That ends the inning. Padres leave one. They lead it one nothing. Closer, Robert Suarez. 29 saves on the season, so he's looking for number 30 right here. He's been big for him in the back of that bullpen. Here comes a pitch. Good job to fight that one off. Righty to the plate. Got him swinging. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. One down, base is empty. And a count one and two. A healthy cut, tough pitch at 98. But a really good pass at the ball. Right-hander kicks deals. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and then this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. So last chance for the Mets. So up next for New York, Pete Alonzo. Two down, nobody on. Hit to right and that should do it. He's got it. Ball game. The Padres claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Nice work out of the bullpen for that first MLB win, Bird. They turned to him when they didn't have the lead. He kept things steady, and he's rewarded with the W. one nothing. the final. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.